What's going on everybody? Chris from Out West with Chris. Back again to open a ballistics box right there in the priority mailbox, which like I said before, I'm fine with. I don't care. It doesn't have to come in a fancy box. Just deliver on the goods. This is the lowest tier, the 22 level. And if you've been following along, I've been kind of like confused why it's even called ballistics box. There hasn't been any, any gun stuff in the 22 level. You know, I kind of wish there were a little bit more upfront about that in the beginning. I was kind of hoping for a gun related box. And while many of you have said, hey, you should get the bigger box, uh, I'm paying for this one on my own just because I'm interested. This box costs $39 and I think it also, you, you also get charged for shipping, but I can't recall, don't quote me on that. And like I've said before, if you're in the subscription box market, you gotta take care of your lowest tier. Just got to. If you can't do your lowest tier well, it's a problem. All right, one thing I did like is you get a little write up on the gear. Um, Okay, so this month we get we get one item. Um, one item this month. This item has a fifty-eight dollar value, fifty-eight eighty-two. Um, that's the Amazon price. What is it? Is it February? Is it March? Is this your February box? Is it your January box? Like this one says. I mean, what is it? Anyways. This one continues to focus on filling your mobile responder or readiness bag. This month we have researched the best medical kits on the market that are light, compact, yet contain everything you would need. We decided to go with the AMK Sportsman Whitetail Medical Kit. Adventure Medical Kit not only provide hospital quality medical supplies, but this kit comes with an outdoor medical guide. Um, one item, let's really hope that this is a good medical kit. All right, here it is. Nice carrying case. I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. I like the, the bright orange, um, you know, easy to find in a pack. And it folds out like it should, uh, very nice. So you could uh, hang this on a tree branch or something like that, uh, be able to zip things open and get after it. Um, Wound care, sprain, blister. So it's broken up into sections. Okay, so here is your full kit. Um, it comes with a patient assessment form um, that you can fill out and a pencil. So there's that. Um, over here you have a, a bunch of medications and a little like pamphlet that kind of covers the, the medications that are included. So uh, pretty good actually. And you get quite a bit of stuff in here. You get some pain relievers, inflammation, so some ibuprofen. Um, you get some acetaminophen. You get some uh, um, allergy medicine, actually. Uh, you also get uh, pain fever, heart attack, so that's your aspirin. Um, some insect bite or sting, so you get an afterbite towelette. And all of that comes in, in this little thing right here. I'm not going to open it up because I kind of like it. I like that it's in um, a little case that keeps it separate. Yes, I get some pretty decent tweezers. These look all right. So that is good. Um, you know, remove some big or small um, slivers, splinters, that type of stuff. Um, you get some um, safety pins, some shears, and these are the standard, you know, uh, lightweight shears. They'll cut through clothing. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, this come with a little tab to slide underneath along the skin. Um, that's what that little thing right there is for. You get a big, thick combine pad. Um, this is in your kind of bleeding area. Nitro gloves. Um, this is the bleeding and CPR little handout. So the three ABCs of emergency first aid. So there's some stuff, you know, if somebody's bleeding real bad, what to do. Um, but, you know, these little booklets are actually pretty good. Um, I found them, um, just reviewing them, to, to be decent, actually. So, um, lots of stuff on first aid in here. Here's your whole book of your wilderness and travel medicine. Comprehensive guide. Haven't really looked at it yet, um, but, you know, probably, probably a pretty decent little read. So, what you know, here is where, you know, most of your first aid kits stuff is. Like I said, this is the wound, burn, and blister section. 
Here's that ace bandage in. And one thing, I'm not gonna take these out, and I don't recommend that you guys take these out either. Because once you take them out of their packages, they're actually not sterilized anymore. So you run the risk of um, contaminating a wound. Um, that's why you do wanna wear those gloves. You wanna use it for your safety. Um, like if somebody's bleeding or really badly cut, um, you do wanna wear gloves just so that you don't contaminate the wound um, as you're cleaning it and prepping it and um, you know, helping somebody mend up. So keep these um, in their packages, folks. And a nice roller gauze bandage. Um, kind of thin, but I actually think this will work pretty well. The big triangular bandages right here. Cotton tipped applicators. It feels like there are two of them in here, so that's nice. Here is a little syringe to irrigate a wound. And the one thing that you don't have in here is like saline so um you know saline or i guess in a pinch some purified water um, i do recommend taking an eyewash bottle and adding it to your kits always a good thing to have um, like i said before some wool skin so to help with those blisters on your feet and then a bunch of bandages so these are just your standard band-aid bandages um I know, i'm not sure of the quality then you have some butterfly bandages about three of them. Some nice fabric knuckle bandages. You get about three of those. Here are like your antiseptic towelettes um, and your triple antibiotic ointment, that type of stuff. Um, like I said before, I'm gonna keep it in there. Here's a, a non-adhering dressing. Bunch of other non-woven sponges. So sterile sponges right here and right here. And these are nice size uh, four by four sponges. Here's another one, um, not adherent pad, so it's not really a sponge, but um, you know, a couple pads. And that's pretty much it. So, oh, and then of course your case, which like I said before, I kind of like the case. Um, it's compartmentalized, has a lot of storage in it. Um, you can zip it open and then hang it so you have easy access. But uh, overall, not a bad little kit. The kit admittedly does have some gaps, so you're going to want to, you know, fill those as you see fit. Um, you know, read that Wilderness and Travel Medicine book, and if you see anything lacking, or if there's something you want to add to it, you know, definitely do so. All right, so overall, not a bad kit. $58 kit, I think that's a little steep. Um, that was the, the Amazon price. Even though it's just one item, I kind of do see this as an improvement over the last month and the prior month. Um, so, so yeah, um, you know, you paid $39. Did you get your money worth? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to decide in the comment section down below. You've seen what's in this kit. It's not a bad kit at all. Um, you know, it's a great kit to throw in your pack. I think that it's missing a few things, but I do think that for, you know, 90% of the injuries that you're going to encounter, um, you know, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Some of the larger wounds or, you know, bigger trauma issues, you know, you're going to need a bigger kit in general for that type of stuff. So, you know, not a bad kit at all. Jury's still out on this box, in my opinion. Is it really worth it at the 22 level? Um, like I mentioned before at the beginning, you know, nothing to do with guns, nothing to do with ballistics at this level, maybe at the higher levels, which I really haven't done much research on. Um, you know, there's might be gun stuff in there, but at this level, it really isn't, um, hasn't really shown any of that type of stuff. So I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I'm going to cancel. I don't know if I'm going to keep going. Um, I really don't know. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you might like some of these over here. This one YouTube thinks you're going to like. This one I think you might like. Uh, I actually got this little jacket in this box right here. So check it out. Subscribe. And thank you guys as always for watching. And thanks for getting out west with Chris.